Hold on to it. You're so cute. Hi everybody. Welcome back to Amber and Abridged. I'm Amber and I have a mess of a video for you today. Hopefully it won't take too long. Um, I tried filming a goals video for 2023 and then it ended up being really long and I never wanted to edit it. So I'm just starting over. Lonzo's helping. I figure while I'm at it, I'll just also tell you about the books I did read in January, the books I'm planning to read in February, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good time. My primary goal for 2023 is to read the books that I own. Uh, that's pretty much the long and short of it. I have a couple specific things I'm working towards, but um, my goal is to read the books that I own. I'm aiming for 100 books between physical books that I own, ebooks that I own, and audiobooks that I own on either Audible or Chirped. Um, and uh, that's, that's where we're at. Hopefully I can make that happen. In an attempt to sort of try to encourage me to read more of my physical books, I did also go through my shelves. Um, I have cube-like shelves. These are books that I've already read. Anyway, uh, I have a number of shelves and what I've done is gone through and chosen one book off each cube to read, which brought me to uh, about 50 books. Um, it was like 40 something and then I also added some manga, uh, which I did a little differently. So I have about 50 books. So of the of the hundred books of that I own, I'm trying to read. I want at least half of them to be physical books that I own. Now I did choose specific titles. I was gonna go over all of them, but I think I would do better to sort of go over those uh, throughout the year rather than just info dump all of them at the beginning. If you are curious about them. Uh, I can maybe post pictures on Instagram or Twitter or something like that. So if that is something you would like uh, up front towards the beginning of the year here, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know and I will do my best to accommodate. I'm just trying not to overwhelm myself with editing because I get overwhelmed and then I just don't do it. And that's why my posts are so sporadic. So yeah, so I have a number of titles, specific titles. Uh, that I'm trying to read and then in addition to those uh, really just anything that I own I'm not I haven't been too picky about it so uh, that said let's go over what I read in January so ah, my leaves are falling out okay so in January uh, I read 17 books so that was pretty cool uh, almost all of them were audiobooks. I was in a mood. So I've read a lot of audiobooks that I own on Audible and uh, a handful of others. Of the 17 books that I read, I own 16 of them. So like, I'm off to a hell of a good start for the year. Um, I'm sure I'll have months that I don't do as great. And that's okay. You know, everything in life is give and take. Everything is a balance. So uh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll get there. So, sorry, love my Doctor Who shirt. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm fine, I'm fine, everything's fine. I'm not gonna put up pictures of the titles that I read. Um, I'm just going to mention them. Although I probably could actually grab the physical books that I own. The two physical books, I'll just start with that. The two physical books that I read this month, I loved both of them, uh, were The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. Um, I loved this. This was fantastic. I buddy read this with Alicia at Birdie in the Books, even though she doesn't have a channel yet, but she's been around booktube. Um, and my cousin Sarah, who is, does not, is not in booktube, but um, is a lovely individual. And then I also read Angela's Ashes by Frank McCourt. Now I listened to the audible, not audible, I listened to the audiobook for this on Scribd, but I do physically own a copy. So I did not sit and read it with my eyeballs, but I got to move one of my physical books onto my red shelf. So that was exciting for me. Uh, doo -doo -doo. 
Now, in addition to that, um, I read uh, an ebook that I own called Iced Out by C.E. Ricci, Ricky, R I C C I. Um, I really loved that. Uh, I've been discovering that hockey romance novels are a thing, and I enjoy them. It's a good time. Other books that I read in January were Hooking Up by Helena Hunting, uh, Loathe Thy Neighbor uh, by Tegan Hunter, which I do not own. That one I had on Audible through Unlimited, but I do not actually own that one. Other books that I read were Lick, Play, Lead, and Bass by Kylie Scott, which are part of the, part of, they are the entire uh, uh, Stage Dive series. Um, I did also listen to two Stage Dive novellas, Closer and Love Song. I listened to My Brother's Roommate by Kendall Ryan, The Chase by Elle Kennedy, Stuck With You by Allie Hazelwood, Below Zero by Allie Hazelwood. The Deal by L. Kennedy and The Four Leaf by Lee Jaquat. Anyway, do you want me to put the names of the books somewhere? Should I post them on Twitter? Should I post them in the description? Let me know what to do for next month when I presumably actually stick with a regular posting schedule. So yeah, let me know. So I tallied up some of my stats here. Nothing crazy, but um, so I, I already mentioned I read 17 books, 16 of them I own. So that brings me to, for the number of pages that I read, I read 4,612 pages, 4,352 of which I own. Technically, I read also a short story. I've read other books I haven't finished yet, but I was just kind of going to tie them in with stuff that I... Anyway. And then of the owned books that I read, 13 of them were audiobooks. Uh, two of them were physical books and one of them was an ebook. So that is my January wrap up situation. Let me just let me just put these here for now. All right, so now I'll talk about February, what I'm planning to read. Of the books that I read in January, none of them were the specific titles I had chosen for myself. I didn't assign an order to the specific titles. I just figured um, since there's about 50 of them, I need to read about one a week. So I need to read about four of them a month, which I did not do. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll see how we do this month. I'm hoping I can make up for it by reading a bunch of my manga. That would be cool. Um, but I did also, I do have two that I'm hoping to read. So anyway, The House of the Spirits by Isabel Allende is one of the specific titles that I had chosen off of my shelves to read. Um, oh, it looks really nice over here with the little frosted, super bright ass window behind it. So this is one of the specific titles I chose. I am currently reading this. I did not finish it in January, but uh, I, uh, a friend of mine who is currently living in South Korea, my friend Gadi, she read it um, in Spanish and I'm reading it in English because I'm not cool enough to know multiple languages, fluent enough to read books in other languages. Um, and when I finish it, we're, we're going to discuss it. We've talked a little bit about some of the stuff we've thought so far and uh, it'll be cool. But yeah, so once I finish this, this will be one of my 50 specific titles off of my shelves, which will be very exciting for me. Probably not for anybody else, but I'll be excited. Um, another specific title off of that I chose off my shelves is this chunk of the Inheritance Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. Honestly, I probably should have just assigned this to myself for this month and been happy with it. But of course I chose more because I'm insane. That's fine. It's fine. I'm hoping if I can knock this out early in the year nothing else will feel very overwhelming. So, um, yeah, so we'll do that. Um, mm -mm -mm. other books I'm currently reading that I'm hoping to finish are Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. I'm buddy reading this with Alicia. Uh, if I could grab the book, that'd be cool. 
um, The Gathering Dark, edited by Tori Bovolino. Um, the cover, I obviously took the sleeve. Ah. <laughs> I took the sleeve off. I don't, um, I took the sleeve off. I don't read hardcovers with the, with the sleeves on them. So I'm about halfway through. And I, again, this is a collection of short stories. I really love it. I think I mentioned it in something, maybe. I might not have. Who knows? Anyway, I'm loving this. It's fantastic. I just keep not picking it up for some stupid reason or other. Another book I want to read is Kindred by Octavia Butler. Uh, if you've ever spent time around me, then you'll know that this is my favorite novel uh, of all time. I mean, it's hard to pick just one, but my logic is that I read it for the first time when I was 15. I finished it the most recently at age 26, and I read it about three or four times in between, and I've loved it every time. So in my opinion, if it can be amazing at every stage of my life, not every stage of my life, but many stages of my life and consistently amazing, then that is why I decided it's my favorite. Of course, there are other books that I love, but um, yeah. So anyway, I want to reread it. It's been a while. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure the last time I read it, I was 26 and I'm 32 presently. So it's time. To read it so I'm going to uh, also because FX just released a TV series uh, adaptation of the book and um, I started watching it with Sam over at sarcasm and sci-fi she's also uh, my co-host for the drunken library if you are familiar with that channel and we are planning to do a show book comparison once we finish watching the show and uh spoiler alert we're not big fans anyway so i gotta reread the book just just to be able to really dig in uh because it's been a while so uh, another book i want to read is who fears death by nadia korafor um i just really want to so I'm hoping I can make that happen. And then, just to try to round out some of the books I own, physical books that I own from my shelves, because even though I own all of these, it's not enough. Um, I'm hoping to read two volumes of The Wallflower by uh, Tomoko Hayakawa. So, yeah, that's, um, those are all the specific titles I'm going to be working on. So, Anything else might be impulsive, uh, but hopefully I can at least finish all of these titles, uh, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. If you have thoughts on any of these books, uh, please comment down below. If you have requests for, um, again, if you want to know like the the specific books on my shelves that I've chosen, let me know. I might do a video just on that. Yeah. Other than that, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.